Happy New Year. Welcome to Math 400. My name is Brian Wetton. I'll be your instructor uh, this term. I'm just coming off a term being head of department. Uh, so there's good news and bad news. The good news is I'm not burned out from teaching online yet. Uh, the bad news is uh, I have a, a learning curve to get up to speed. Uh, like you, I'm very happy with the delay for the start of term for that extra week. Um, the course outline is posted on the Canvas webpage. Um, and you'll see there's <clears throat> some pretty interesting material in the course. It's about partial differential equations. Uh, these equations describe many phenomena in science, uh, engineering, and uh, finance, and other things. Um, We'll be looking at analytical methods to uh, understand the properties of these equations, which give um, qualitative understanding of the phenomenon they model. There's a back and forth between the phenomenon and the, the equations giving you insight. And you'll also learn some uh, methods to get uh, quantitative uh, uh, results. So you can see that there is a, a somewhat unusual uh, assessment policy uh, this term. Um, it's really uh, designed to encourage you to uh, engage with the material yourself. Uh, and at this level of class, there's only the extremes, I think, that students will, will be worried about. Um, um, and one at, at the low end is, you know, will you pass? So there is a there is a, a criteria there where there's a guaranteed pass if you engage with the material. Um, and at the other end, the high end, uh, marks of A and A plus uh, could make a difference for uh, scholarships or applications to graduate school. Uh, and there, there's a mechanism there where I can assess. Uh, that uh, that you have mastered the material yourself. Um, so if you're if you're wondering exactly how I came up with uh, this strategy, that that's those are the two ends that I really wanted to take care of, um, and uh, and I think this is really going to encourage students to to uh, work through the material on their own as as best they can, which of course will ensure that you uh, learn the most possible from the class. And I think the material will be useful in your future careers, and so it's it's worthwhile engaging with them. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention was um, the lectures, of course, will be online. They'll be in Zoom. They'll be recorded uh, for students who are in other time zones uh, for which the uh, morning classes, Tuesday and Thursday, are, are not uh, uh, convenient. Um, during the class, of course, online lectures are, uh, we all know, you have experience with this, are, are not as good as in-person ones. Uh, one feature which is, I think, quite useful about Zoom uh, meetings is the chat feature. Uh, this is a way you can whisper to everyone, not just people next to you, and uh, do it without disturbing uh, anyone who is focused on the on the uh, lecturer. So I'd, I'd like to encourage you to use the chat feature uh, amongst yourselves. Um, I'm going to have the teaching assistant for the class uh, monitor the chat and uh, bring uh, to my attention any any questions that 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 I need to uh, to address. So I think this gives us the best of both worlds, um, a, a forum for you to uh, talk amongst yourselves about the material, maybe answer your own questions, um, and then a, a way for me to hear when there is um, an unresolved question coming from the audience that, uh, that I should, uh, I should uh, address. So you've been welcomed. You know my face. Um, you know a little bit about the material. Um, the somewhat unusual grading policy and how the classes are going to go. And all that remains is for me to wish you the best until next Tuesday, um, January uh, 12th, 
when we will um, start uh, in, uh, in earnest with uh, applied partial differential equations. So good luck until then.